put your credit card away when you watch this video. I have this big old bag of Sephora products. The bag's almost ready to rip, and I'm just gonna do really quick reviews on each of these products, but I wanted to help save you some money and help you to decide like, do you really need to spend money on that new release? Is it really that good? Full disclaimer and something I think is really important to share at the beginning of this video. And if you don't wanna hear what I have to say and you just wanna jump straight to the products to see which ones I think are not worth it and which ones I think might be worth it, feel free to just fast forward and get to the products. But one thing I wanted to share, I am not sharing all of these products so that you will rush out and purchase them. If you feel like you can't help yourself and you just have to buy everything that you see somebody rave about on social media, just turn my video off <laughs> right now. But if you're curious to my honest opinion on these products that I purchased, I purchased all of these with my own money. If you're curious to hear what I like, what I don't like, then keep watching, but please put your credit card away. If you're like me and you like looking at all the new releases that everybody's raving about, I'm gonna share with you my opinions to hopefully help you out. The very first product is this new eyeshadow palette from the brand Natasha Denona. This is a beautiful palette, but I think it's really expensive. The quality of it is great. I think this is an absolutely stunning eyeshadow palette. However, I purchased it because, you know, I like to see what the hype is all about. I've purchased a few of her palettes, and while I do like them, I don't think any of these Natasha Denona palettes are palettes that you must run out and buy. I just think they're really expensive. And I mean, do we really use all of these shades of eyeshadow? I mean, I don't know about you. I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm not great with eyeshadow, but I just use like two, three, four of the shades that are in here. So why am I spending this kind of money on a palette like this? So if you see everybody hype this up, I think that you should save some money. I actually have a dupe for this that's only I think 10 or $11 and the quality of the dupe is just as good if not better super creamy buttery no fallout just fantastic quality feels very luxurious this is what like 70 80 something like that and the dupe i have is 10 or 11 dollars i actually have this palette today on this eye and the dupe on this one now i don't know about you but i think they look pretty much identical other than you know i'm not that skilled with putting on makeup so maybe i was a little heavy-handed on <laughs> one side versus the other or, or one side's crooked <laughs> the other one's not do i think it's a great palette sure no one can tell if you have a four dollar eyeshadow palette on or something like this. So if you like to splurge and you like to collect them, yeah, that's one thing. But if you're just looking at social media and you're kind of having that FOMO, that fear of missing out, and you think you might need to rush out and buy this palette, if I use this up, would I rush out and repurchase it? No, I probably will never repurchase this. The next product, actually I'll do both of them because it's the same brand. This is by Dr. Idris. I think that's how you say your name. I'll talk about this one in a second, but this one right here, you guys, this is probably my favorite moisturizer I have ever, ever used. I typically don't spend a lot of money on moisturizers or cleansers. I will on a treatment product, but this moisturizer, oh my gosh. First of all, the packaging, I love this kind of packaging. I don't have to scoop my hand in anything. You just push the little button. I don't even wanna waste it. That's how much I love this, <laughs> but you just push it down and then your product comes out. But this is her Major Fade Active Seal Vitamin C Gel Moisturizer. And the vitamin C that is in this is my favorite form of vitamin C for sensitive or acne prone skin, the tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate vitamin C, the THD. This feels like you're using some super duper expensive, luxurious face cream. This has the THD vitamin C, this has peptides, this has ceramides. It's just an all around fabulous moisturizer. So if say you're, you know, you're not really into skincare and you don't want to layer serums and all of that, if you just want one product and of course your sunscreen during the day, but if you just want one product after you cleanse your face so you can skip all of your serum steps, this right here is just your one and done skincare product. If you are looking for a new moisturizer that's more than just a moisturizer, this is Phenomenal. Then this is the other product from the same brand. This is the Major Fade Flash Mask, and this has, it's an exfoliating type of mask with alpha hydroxy acid in it. It's okay, I'm not gonna repurchase it. I've used better exfoliating products, but it's, it's a nice product. It gives my skin a beautiful glow afterwards, but I just wasn't blown away. But this, 
holy grail absolutely obsessed with this all right a hair product i just started using this so i don't know any long-term results but i saw that this was a brand new release this is by the brand i don't even know if it's day d-a-e i'm not sure i just saw that this was a new release and it had great reviews if you like the smell of that orange cream sickle that's what this smells like it is so yummy especially for summer but this is just a leave-in it's their mirage mist leave-in conditioner i see this does have a heat protectant in it also up to 450 degrees so i think that's really nice but I, i've used this a few times it makes my hair super duper soft silky it makes it it gives it a bit of a shine and i just spray this on my hair when it's damp and it's great before i blow dry it i don't know yet if i'm going to repurchase it i do need to keep testing it but so far i really enjoy this all right another product i just think is not worth the money this is the ysl their lash clash mascara and i got the shade this is their brown shade I hate this. I mean, I know that sounds awful, but I think it's expensive. I mean, the packaging, of course, it's beautiful. I mean, to me, it's just a basic mascara, but what I do not like, I was looking for a brown mascara uh, on days that I don't want to have, um, I don't want to look as made up. I just want a little bit more of a natural look. But do you see this tint in this brown? It's got like a reddish tint. And when I have it on my eyes, it, it's nice. It separates, it lengthens, it lifts them, it, it's pretty but it's not like mind blowing where you must go get it even in you know a different shade but i don't like this reddish tint that this brown has because it makes me look like oh do you have the flu are you coming down with a sinus infection because <laughs> that's what those tints look like on me and I, i'm just not a fan the next product this is by it cosmetics this is like a new formulation of their natural matte cc cream now just to be honest i have not even been wearing foundation over the, probably the past two months i just use my aven spf compact because it almost gives me a medium to full coverage and i've gotten to where i'm really trying to focus on the health of my skin and i want my skin my natural skin to show versus looking like i have a pancake face of makeup on i'm just not into that look anymore especially you know far away on camera I could have thick, thick layers of makeup on and you wouldn't be able to tell. But of course, then when I zoom in, then you can really see what it looks like. And I have this makeup on today and I do think it looks halfway decent. My skin still is glowy. You can still see, you know, my natural skin. I hope I don't have chocolate in my teeth. I'm, I'm drinking a protein shake. I didn't like it when I first bought it because I use like, I don't know, two pumps of it and put it all over and it is just so cakey looking if you use more than like a half a pump to a pump so on my face today i have i'd say about a half a pump i'll just show you how much a pump is so this is one whole pump right here and this amount for my whole face is so so much way too much and i've seen some people on social media put like two and three all over their face and I cannot imagine that that would look nice up close. I saw some reviews where people would like put it on and they were like, oh, oh my gosh. Now, I don't know if I've ever done that with any makeup product, even ones that I absolutely love, but this is not that mind blowing. So if you are looking for a new foundation, I mean, sure, if you wanna go try it out and see how it works for you, it's not a bad CC cream foundation. It does give a good medium. I'd say it's not full coverage. This is a good medium coverage It's full coverage if you use a whole pump or two pumps But then you're just gonna look like a cake face and if people see you in person not on camera But if people see you in person, it's it's just not gonna look that good So I don't know. Let me know. Have you tried this? This is by Kosas. I love this brand I like this lip liner, but the more I use it. I don't think I love it but it's not the formula that I don't love, it's the color for me. I have naturally darker lips and the border around my lips is darker. So this shade, it looks pretty on me, but it almost just kind of blends in with my lips. So I like this if I'm just wanting to have a more neutral shade. The next shade up is just too dark for me. They need more shades. So the formula and everything, I absolutely love it. I love the uh, applicator. It's got like a little brush on the end. I love, love, love everything about it. I think there's a sharpener too, if you pull this out. Maybe not, no, I think there is, but anyways. It's a great product. So if this is a great shade for you or if any of the shades in their line is a great shade for you, this is a fabulous lip liner. Super creamy, buttery, and it stays on a really long time. If they came out with more of a shade range and a little bit darker than this shade, 
not such a jump in the shades, this would probably be my go-to lip liner. That's how beautiful this is. Now, since I'm talking about Kosas, let me share with you their new blushes. You guys, these are my all-time favorite blushes that I've ever tried so far, powder blushes. These are very similar though to the Milani uh, baked blushes. And if you love those Milani blushes, I'm gonna show you my favorite shade in the end. But if you love the Milani blushes and you don't need to buy more blushes, you don't need to rush out and buy these because these are very, very similar to the Milani baked blushes. These actually smooth your skin and make your pores look even smaller, more than what the Milani blushes do. These are their baked blushes. I believe these are like talc free. Coast is like a clean beauty brand, but they're stunning. I mean, it's the most beautiful blush I've ever used. That is actually what I have on my cheeks today. Do you see the shade of this one? It's a powder blush, but do you see the sheen that this has? It is so pretty. This is like the Milani baked blushes that have that really pretty sheen to them, but these make my pores look a lot smaller than the Milani blushes. This shade, I only have three of them. This shade is called uh, Euphoria. If you like Milani Luminoso, but you feel like as you're getting older, I'm 51 years old now, Luminoso for me is just a little too Luminoso, a little too, kind of shimmery looking on me. And I feel like it sort of accentuates, it makes me look like my pores are bigger than what they are. Even though I think Luminoso is a stunning blush. But this shade, this is called Blist. It's a warm peachy pink. This to me is prettier than Luminoso. Let me just show you on my finger. Well, I gotta zoom back in again <laughs> so you can see what it looks like. This one is called Butterflies. It's a cool baby pink. Milani baked blushes used to have a shade similar to this. And when I would do makeup videos, when I first started doing YouTube, I would always use it as a topper. What was it called? It was called Delicioso or something like that. They need to make that shade again because it is pretty much identical to this one. If you like that cool pinky shade, I mean, this is so, so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on. I'm just using the Angie Hot and Flashy brush. I mean, hello, is that so pretty? I mean, I wouldn't go to the grocery store with this much blush on. <laughs> so I'll just press some of it off with a blending sponge. It's almost like using a kind of satin matte blush, but with a built-in highlighter, but a highlighter that makes your skin look super duper healthy and poreless. I don't know how they did it. These to me are just the most amazing blushes ever. Another product that I saw on their website that was a new launch, this is by the brand Merit. This is their new shade of their highlighter. Now this was sent to me by the brand and I don't like this shade, but my all time favorite Holy Grail highlighter is this same highlighter, same formula, but in the shade Kava. I've shared this many times before. This is what I use when I, especially when I film most videos, when I'm trying to get that glow before I discover these Kosas blushes. But this highlighter, oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. It's perfect for more mature skin. I'm not really a powder highlighter type person because so many of the powders, when you zoom in, they do look like that makeup-y look on your skin. But this shade, I mean, it just gives you like that really pretty wet shade like I just did a ton of skincare and my skin is just so bouncy and glowy. Do you see those videos where people are doing that? It's like, well, yeah, if you've got chubby cheeks like me and you put something glowy on and of course your skin's gonna look bouncy and glowy. Now, if you have a darker skin tone, you might very well like this, but for me, I just, I don't like what it looks like on my skin. All right, packaging gets me every single time. Now, granted, I wanted to buy all the new releases and test them so that I could share with you all if I think it's worth it. Is this the cutest packaging? And this is glass, by the way. But to be honest, this is, it's just a lip gloss. Would I ever purchase it again though? I probably would. And for this reason, I love this glass packaging, but the smell of it smells like a, a fresh cut cantaloupe. It smells so yummy. It reminds me of my youth, those uh, flavored lip balms that we used to use, but it's actually really pretty. I'll show you what it looks like on. I mean, it's highly, highly glossed. It's more, it's not sticky at all. It's more like a lip oil. You feel like you're just putting like a baby oil on your lips. It is gorgeous. It's a super sheer, but it's got like these little, really fine shimmery particles in it, not chunks of glitter. It's just a very beautiful lip gloss, but it looks pretty now, but give it about an hour. 
since it is so thin of a formula, it will start to kind of bleed into these really little lip wrinkles that I have around my mouth. And I know I say it's just a lip gloss, but I think it does have pretty decent ingredients in it. Yeah, it does. It's not just your basic lip gloss. It has good ingredients. It has a uh, grapeseed oil, jojoba. It has meadow foam seed oil. It has calendula, evening primrose oil. It has, I think it's got honey in it, vitamin E. It does have a lot of really nice ingredients in it. My lips never feel dried out. My lips always feel nice and moisturized with it. So I probably will purchase this again, mainly because of the way it tastes and smells. But this is not something I think you need to have in your makeup collection. This shade is not a brand new shade, but I just wanted to share this. These Dior blushes, you guys, I've purchased a few of these. I didn't purchase their brand new one because I swatched it and I'm like, there's just nothing special about them. But I keep falling for the hype of every, I don't know why everybody loves these. Leave me a comment down below. Do you think that these Dior blushes are mind blowing? Because every single time I've bought one, I'm just so underwhelmed. I don't understand the hype. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, so that might be part of the reason <laughs> why I'm underwhelmed by a lot of these makeup products. But I thought this would be really pretty. This is the one called Cherry, and I just see everybody rave about these. And it does have good pigment, but when I put it on, it just kind of patchy and kind of flat on the skin. I don't know. I just don't find these to be impressive. All right, another product that I think is phenomenal, just this brand. Every single thing I've tried from this brand, I have fallen in love. This is from the brand CL. This is their new Sculpt and Protect SPF 30. It's a, a contour type product. That's what I have on today. I'm not really a big contour type person because I'm kind of lazy when I do my makeup and I'm really not that great at doing makeup. So sometimes I feel like when I do contour, and I look like I'm dirty, <laughs> like, I, like I was playing in the dirt and I touched my face and I have like patches of <laughs> dirt all over my face. So I'm not really good with contour products, but this is one product that if you're someone like me and you're not great with makeup, you, you could do this with your eyes closed. This shade I got, this is the medium. This is such a pretty contour. It's not too orange, it's not too gray, it's just the perfect shade. But what I love, it's an all mineral SPF 30. Oh, and I didn't show you how beautifully this contour stick blends. Do you see that? Like I'm barely even using any pressure. Oh, another product from Kosas. This is a brand that I love, but this, I just wasn't a fan of this. This is their new Dream Beam Sun Lit Comfy Smooth Sunscreen Broad Spectrum S broad spectrum SPF 40 PA++++. I like their other one, but this one, I don't know. There's just something about it I'm just not a huge fan of. This one has this nice kind of nudish tint to it. And I'll wear this like if I'm just hanging out around the house or if we're gonna go to the pool or something like that. It just has a super kind of sheer tint. It gives your skin a little bit of healthy glow to it, but I feel like I don't like the way it looks under my makeup because it's a little too shiny underneath my makeup. And like I said, I love a glow, but this kind of makes things feel like it's moving around. I don't know, have you tried this yet? I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it, but like I said, they're blushes, amazing. All right, so. another new release are these blushes from House Labs, the Lady Gaga brand. These are their Color Fuse Glassy Blush Balms. And I bought three of these. This one is the shade Glassy Hibiscus. Let me just open these. And let me just tell you, these are phenomenal. I will probably end up buying every single shade of these because I love them that much. My favorite is this shade. I love a cool pink. And this is this pinky purpley shade here. This one is called Glassy Lilac. And it's got like a nice sheen to it right now, but once it's on the skin, it'll, it'll start to die down but I even use this on my lips. It is so, so pretty. So you can use these on your lips, your cheeks. They're stunning, and these last a really long time. And this is shade Glassy Pomelo. And then this shade is really, really pretty too. It's more of like a, just kind of like a nudie mauve shade. Actually, I'll just put a little bit of this on my cheeks, and then I just blend it in. And you probably can't even tell because I already have so many layers <laughs> of different blush on. But if you like this balm type of uh, makeup product, these are absolutely phenomenal. So I probably will pick up the other shades because I do love these that much. Here is a lip product. This is the new Natasha Denona, the Golden Glimmer Gloss. I think this was expensive for a gloss. I mean, sure, it's pretty. It's got like these really sheer gold 
glimmery particles in it. I would never repurchase this again. Like if I just want something fun, I would buy this one. This one's super glossy and has a little glimmery sheen in it. This one feels really nice. It doesn't dry out my lips, but I don't know. I just, I'll put some on. <laughs> I mean, you don't notice anything different from what I already have on. It's, it's a pretty lip gloss, but golly, you could just go get something from Milani or Essence <laughs> that looks pretty much identical to this. It's got like a slight vanilla scent. There's just nothing fun and exciting when I use this. I, I'll never repurchase this again. This is actually a purchase. I wish I had not purchased it. And you know, I could have returned it, but I wanted to share with you that I just, I don't think it's worth the money. I don't. I don't see what the hype is on this product. So I think you could save your money and get something much more affordable from the drugstore. This product right here, this is almost identical to the Natasha Denona one. This is the new Fenty, the, the lip oil. They look almost identical. Let me just swatch them. So that's the Natasha Denona. And then this is the new lip oil from Fenty. I mean, you really can't tell a difference. I feel like the Fenty one is shinier looking on my lips. There's nothing so impressive about this either that I would rush out and buy it again when I could just pick up one that looks almost identical like this from Essence or Milani or I think even Wet n Wild has one that looks similar. All right, two other products I wanna share and then I'm gonna share with you the new lip gloss that I like even better than my City Lips. This is by the brand Westman Atelier. I had never tried this brand before because it to me it's like really expensive for makeup, but I decided, I saw that they had some new shades on their new uh, released page and so I wanted to pick this one up. This one is not a new release, but this is the shade, here I'll just put it on my finger. Do you see how pigmented and how beautiful this is? Let me just do one swipe so you can see. I mean, these are stunning. The quality of this brand, I mean, this is luxurious. Look at this, Boop. this nice magnetized lid. But this is a beautiful blush. I mean, I guess I could put it on. I'll just put a little bit on. <laughs> do you see how pretty this is? You only need like one or two little dabs of it. You can use your finger, you can use a sponge. If I have a sponge, you can use a, a brush, whatever you like for this. It blends out so, so pretty. It's not shiny, it's not matte, it just blends into the skin. It just gives you that really pretty natural pop of color. I even put this on my lips. You can use it on your cheeks. You can use it on your lips. It's a very luxurious, gorgeous product. All right, let me just use a piece of paper and block this off a little bit because I wanna show you some of my new, oh, before I show you my favorite lip glosses, I wanted to show you these. These are these Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm lip products. And while I do think they're nice, I mean, I see what the hype is. I bought four shades of this and I do think they're pretty but I probably will never buy them again because I'm just not impressed with the shades. And all of the shades are beautiful, but I just can't find one that I love for me that I'd be willing to you know, spend this kind of money on. Now, e.l.f. also just came out with some called Pout Clout, and I bought a couple of those. And I, the formula is not the same. It, I wouldn't call it a dupe dupe, but it's similar. But the e.l.f. one has one shade that I actually like better than these but I'll just show you what this looks like on, even though my lips are stained from these other products. So this is like a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. And it is pretty, but I just, I don't know, the shades, they're just not my shades. The undertones are not what I normally look for in a lip product. And then they have some other ones that are more kind of like a nude shade, but they just look kind of blah on me. They don't bring life to my skin. Let's just blot this off. Okay, it's not gonna come off. <laughs> so we're gonna have these red <laughs> stained lips for now. Now I wanna show you my new favorite lip gloss over my city lips. These are the Dewy Plump Lip Glosses from Gwen Stefani and I bought every single shade of these. That's how much I loved them. It comes in six shades. I love them that much. I'll just swatch them really quickly on my hand. I'll put this one on over top to try to neutralize this red that I have on. These plump up my lips. They don't burn or sting. There's like a little bit of a, what is that scent? I don't know, it's kind of like a vanilla minty scent that's in these. These are sort of sheer, but they do obviously give your lips some color. This one is the one that I wear most often. Actually, this is my second one. They smell good and they taste good. They make my lips look super plump and juicy. I don't have lip fillers. I'm, I'm never gonna get lip fillers. I mean, if you have them, that's great. 
but boy, do these make your lips look great. All right, so here they all are swatched. Look how glossy these are. And if you are like me and you already love City Lips, I think you are going to be blown away by these and probably like these better because number one, look at the shade range of these. I wish City Lips would come out with better shades. They just released new shades and I am not impressed <laughs> with the new ones that they released. And these do have that thicker formula like City Lips. I am loving these more than my City Lips. And I mean, just look at the plump that this gives. This gives my lips that really, really pretty plump, juicy, healthy look. All right, so that's it for all of the new products that I picked up to test out. Hopefully this is helpful and will help you save some money. I have another video sharing five dupes or more affordable alternatives. And one of the dupes, I think it's the very first one that I share is in that video. So if you wanted to know what that dupe was, I'm gonna pop that other video up here if you wanted to click on it and check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.